Welcome Aries, this is Solomon. This is going to be your weekly reading, your love reading for the week of April 9th to the 15th of 2018. So I do wish you a happy birthday. Um, if your birthday is this week, the sun is still in Aries and I do hope that you enjoy it. All right, um, we're going to do the 10 card Celtic Cross spread this week and provide energies of what you might be experiencing, um, what another person might be up to if you're dealing with somebody and um, an event that might come in. All right, so let's see. Oh, let's see. Messages for Aries. Oh, wow. Ten card cup to cross for Aries of love. April 9th to the 15th of 2018. Aries. Okay. Let's see. So the theme. The tower. The tower is usually some kind of change, a shift, a breakthrough, or a setback in some way. Um, sometimes it, these could be negative forces that come through, um, some kind of drama, um, whatever it might be. We'll see why that's there. But this is a major issue, a major um, transition, a major change, I feel, that's happening. All right. And the obstacle is maybe money um, could be part of it. Um, the home. Uh, finances uh, being broken in a relationship something going wrong um, this is an obstacle though um, and it does indicate some kind of financial loss or separation between you and someone else um, being as though this is a five it's like a conflict maybe within the home a marriage or um, financially with you and your partner for some why it's all happening is the eight of pentacles again finances a career sometimes this will come through as a a shift in circumstances around the job sometimes you break away from a certain connection because you're needing to work um, shifting to a different place of employment um, trying to stay focused and driven um, this is what's what needs to happen or this is what's going on with you and your romantic partner for some the recent past <laughs> the recent fast um, maybe some of you was trying to make things move quickly but maybe you've been stalled um, not really wanting to face certain things or person um, emotionally kind of staying in your situation I'm um, not really moving away from it not addressing certain things not bringing up topics and feeling stuck feeling trapped feeling a bit um, restricted in some way you might not be restricted but that's a choice that you make to kind of not um, address anything emotionally in the recent past right and this was trying to come out um, the moon in reverse was trying to come out as I was shuffling off camera and this is where a lot of truth is coming to light about something that you're keeping from yourself someone else is keeping from you so this is um, any kind of revelation that you might receive through um, the fears that you might have confusion doubt um, this is receiving the truth about something or someone and then having to kind of change your perspective or being able to move away from something that's been kind of holding you back so we'll see why that's there right the near future an event that might be coming through money again spending too much uh, maybe this is something that's happening this week something happened in the recent past but again having to put out a lot of money for something um, maybe this is a habit or something like that that continues to happen and you're having to address it so financially a lot of money uh, worries and strain when it comes to stability in your relationship all right now your response is avoiding getting into confrontation you may not really want to address certain things especially if your partner may have financial issues um, and you don't address them about it or if you're doing this a lot of the spending and you know that it's not the right thing to do because other things need to be taken care of maybe you don't you kind of walk around or walk away from your partner and not address that topic all right, because it could be sensitive you may not just want to hear it um, from them on um, certain issues so maybe a lot of you are just kind of staying away from getting into confrontational conflict about those deeper issues all right how others are seeing you or your romantic partner now they could see you as you're dealing with another person you could be dealing with an Aries for some um, but they could see you coming through as um, not really telling the truth could be very manipulative um, this is where you're not really communicating in the right way or saying the right things or holding things back and that could be um, controlling in some way or you're dealing with somebody in this sense so it just depends this person is usually someone who's being honest or working towards their goals able to kind of manifest a new beginning but in some way you may be being held back or you are saying certain things to 
cover up something or right, from a certain situation so again not facing uh, the reality about something all right so that's what your partner or your friends or family is how they may see you all right so you're a partner what they might be up to so they may not be feeling really good they may want some kind of attention from you they may be seeking attention from others in some way they may not feel um, say if you are in a relationship with them they may be seeking other people they may want to talk to others and that may be some of the issue that you might have with that particular person so that's the kind of truth that may be coming towards you in some way for others of you you may be dealing with someone who does want you around that does want to speak to you that does ask why aren't you there you know what's going on why aren't we talking those kind of things so i feel like um either way they want some kind of attention or confirmation from you in some way right now the outcome is the six of swords so you are stepping away from someone or something there could be a move um for some of you out there that could be something that you are contemplating going through uh, because of the finances that might be there but some of you may be walking away from something or someone because the tower is something that's um very tense there so i do want to clarify let's clarify the moon all right aries clarify the moon for aries clarify the moon so just try to pop up my hand it does indicate like money money issues money woes um financial concerns any kind of uh, fear and anxiety where you may hold yourself back in some way maybe obstacles might pop up in your love life because of bad spending habits and things like that not being able to focus on what needs to be taken care of that could be some of the the worries and stress that you might have so you may even feel or understand that your partner or someone that you are dealing with is working towards financial security as well so that could be some truth that's coming out clarify the tower for Aries clarify the tower and then we do have the seven of cups now the seven of cups where some of you might be looking for another opportunity you could feel like you're broken or separating from your partner others of you these are financial concerns as well trying to figure out what you want to do financially with the seven of cups being there let's see clarify the seven of cups for Aries obstacles to your goals obstacles with another person you may not feel like things are working out between you and someone else so some of you may um, be on the lookout for another opportunity a different person in some way so financial concerns issues with you and your partner connecting in some way um, and having doubts about the connection let's do this let's do uh, the moon one more time in reverse fairies one more time moon in reverse fairies The Four of Wands is here, so there seems to be some kind of truth. Now, some of you, because um, these are general, they may not be for every last one of you, so some of you may f understand that you are or have been dealing with someone that's in, that was in a relationship that was seeking you for financial security, that is married for some. Others of you, the truth is coming out about what needs to happen so that you can have a stable connection with someone and changes that need to be made and that's why I feel like the, um, the moon is in reverse so stability can be had if changes are to be made so something could be kind of a shooken up in a way so let's do two cards for you for the week for Aries two cards for Aries for April 9th to the 15th soulmate it says yes this is your soulmate that's the revelation that you may receive this week about a connection that you have with somebody um that you may love someone that you're falling for someone that you've known for some time um someone that you might be destined to have a uh, romantic relationship with or a long-term relationship with or marriage so let's see energies for aries for april 9th to the 15th one more card finances and career you see financial issues are a factor in your love life we just spoke about that and that's maybe the truth or the clarity that you might receive this week as you kind of take your time to kind of let go and address certain things so that's what it seems like um i do hope that the messages did help you out lots of love make sure that you do enjoy your birthday week if your birthday is this week uh, thanks a lot for viewing and make sure that if you would like to you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something that's going to be specifically for you all right have a good one